Hi, this is Kevin McPhail from Pipeline FX, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up a cube sequencer render with an animated camera in VRED Professional 2021. So to for the demonstration, I'm going to use the uh, Automotive Genesis example file that comes with VRED. So we'll open that up and open Automotive Genesis. And we'll open up here in just a moment. There we go. So we have the Automotive Genesis file open. So you can also see um, I have, I'm working with the scene graph open, the curve editor, the timeline, and sequencer. So the uh, if I want to get the curve editor and the timeliner here, and interaction will get me to the sequencer. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new camera. So we'll go into um, scene, create camera. I'm going to call this camera animated. So I have a new animated camera. I'm just going to select it. So here's my new camera. The next thing I want to do is I'm just going to quickly uh, throw some animation curves on this camera. So I'm going to just pick the um, translation and rotation of the camera. And I am on frame zero, so I'm going to key, all sele key the selected channels. So now I've created a keyframe for each one of those. Next, I'm going to um, let's re reposition the timeline. We'll go up to frame 30, and then I'm going to reposition the camera. So I'll just move around here a little bit. Zoom back in. There we go. That looks good. So just a quick little animation. I still have the translation rotation channel selected, so I will say key selected channels. So now I have some animation curves. They're not fancy, but they'll do the trick for what we're doing today. The next thing I need to do is uh, add the information into the sequencer. So the first thing of sequencer, I'm going to create a sequence. And I'm going to call this sequence car1. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an action. So the first action I'm going to create is to set the render quality. And set render quality. And I'm going to change that from realistic high to ray tracing. Next. I am going to add another action. And this time I'm going to select the correct camera. So we'll come down and find the select camera. Here it is, select camera. Uh, camera name. And I will say animated. And finally, I'm going to create the last action, which is going to be create a snapshot. So we'll say create snapshot. So this is where we're going to define where the file, the render file, the rendered files will save, its resolution, and a few other factors. So I already have a, so right now it'll take and load, save the image to the VRED projector slash red sequence. What I'm going to do is uh, actually put it into a little folder that I've already created, which is just an animation test folder. So we'll pick this. I 
uh, Vred likes a forward slash, so I'm just going to replace my backslashes with forward slashes. Just say we're doing a test image. And because we're doing a sequence within Cube, one thing we need to add is a macro or an expansion macro that we call a QB frame number. So for each frame in the render frames 1 through 30, we'll see 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, all the way up to 0, 0, 30 uh, be replaced in here. So um, that is important to make sure you add for each one. Um, because I want these frames rendered a little bit quicker, I'm going to go a smaller size. So I'm going to go uh, 320 by 240. And I'm just going to reduce my super sampling down to one. I'll speed it up a little bit. All right, that's great. So now I need to save this. So I'm going to go File, Save As. Um, you can already see I already have done it at least once before, so I'm going to say animated camera 2. So I'll do that again and set save. So I'm going to save that scene file. All right, so now that the scene file is saved, and normally this would be on your network drive. I'm doing this locally on my machine, but it would be a network drive. Um, now we're ready to do the submission via cube. So we're going to come to scripts and launch the cube menu, which you would have already installed before um, through the um, installation scripts or either Wrangler View or uh, soon to be through uh, Cube UI. So here is the menu. We're going to submit a sequence render job frame range. So I'm going to ask for frames 1 through 30, which is what we have set on the timeline. And everything else in here should be good. We're setting the sequence car one, that is the sequence that we've picked, and we shall submit. So we've submitted job 10, uh, 1091. Now you'll notice uh, I have uh, the red uh, popping up on my screen. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes so we can show locally the renders uh, taking off of my uh, workstation. If you're rendering on your farm, you won't see Fred uh, open up. We uh, we hide that. We put push it to a background background process. So now that Fred is loading, it should load the scene file and then can start the render. I will pause the video and we'll come back when the frames are done. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. The frames finished rendering just a moment ago, so we'll take a look at them. So here we have the full range, frames 1 through 30. And as I said, uh, the uh, QB frame number was replaced in each one of these with the actual frame number as it was rendered. And we'll take a look at the uh, sequence and see what we have. So we'll open with uh, DJV, which is a, a great little sequence viewer. And there we go. We have a short but sweet little animated camera in Vred 2021 Professional. So thank you very much. Um, this has uh, been great to be able to show you this. If you have any questions, please email support at pipelinefx.com. Thank you.